Hello, this is Carsten from the ENTC office again. We are continuing our series of podcast style interoperability demos from the MPLS and SDN multi-vendor interoperability event we've had a couple of weeks ago. Since we cannot present in Paris right now, we thought we'd bring to you the experience of the live demonstrations from our hot staging uh, to your home offices. We had 16 participants, as I had explained before, from a wide range of different types of vendors, from uh, routing vendors in the data center in the white area, uh, orchestration vendors, and uh, many others. And uh, one of our most important and um, biggest area of testing was eVPN, Ethernet VPNs, based on SDN, on segment routing. And uh, seven vendors participated in the demo that we're going to present today, which is on Mac mobility. So uh, the ability of a solution to migrate through the eVPN service. So this demonstration, as I said, was supported by seven companies in total. And uh, two vendors are presenting, Alexis Dakey from Arista and Russell Kelly from Arcos. So over to you guys. The um, multiple vendors today, the team here, is going to present the um, uh, Mac Mobility Interrupt demo that we've, uh, we've completed successfully among uh, the different vendors, Arista, um, Arcus, Cisco, Juniper's parent, Nokia, Metaswitch. And I um, would like to explain briefly what the uh, Mac Mobility means. The purpose of the Mac Mobility is to provide a, um, a means to prevent the Mac flap in the network. So as a P advertises the um, a, a Mac address as a root type 2, the purpose is to prevent the, um, the circulation across multiple, uh, multiple P's, the redistribution and uh, Mac flapping across the whole network. So the Mac Mobility uses a, um, an extended community being um, a sequence number and the different P's looking at this uh, sequence number can therefore know uh, what the latest update is across all the, uh, the P it receives it from. Upon receiving a MAC address that it learns locally, the P that has got that MAC address learned locally will therefore advertise it as root type 2 and increment the uh, sequence number, and therefore all the remote P's will flush their local uh, master MAC address and uh, install it with a, an XOP of this P that advertised it last with the highest sequence ID. So it provides a, a much more stable um, um, layout environment. The use case is for obviously the, uh, the host, such as virtual machines, where the, uh, the, the host can move across multiple sites behind different P's or VTAP in a data center or across data centers. I've described briefly the way of operation. The PE receiving a uh, MAC IP root type 2 uh, will advertise that some MAC with a, uh, an incremented Ethernet segment identifier and an increased sequence number. So here is an illustration of um, the network that we've got here. Well, it's just a simplification. We've got many more devices. Every vendor has got more devices than that. So it's a simplification. Um, we've got Spirant connected across all the different vendors and we are announcing the uh, MAC address through uh, some, some, some packets so we are sending through a, a MAC address and that is being done on one device at a time and therefore the P's see in at, um, each one in turn the MAC address learned locally through Spirant from the packet received by, uh, from the parent, and each time they learn it locally, they will take the, um, the sequence number that they had received from the previous P and increment that number, advertise it to the uh, root reflectors, to the spine devices, and, and that will be received by all the remote peers. So every P in the network will therefore receive uh, an updated uh, root type 2 with the uh, incremented sequence number as we are moving along from um, one send sender to another. The particular um, the place where you can see that sequence ID, depending on the uh, user interface, is uh, related to sequence number or um, uh, eVPN Mac mobility or just a uh, sequence. So we've got different uh, ways. It's a extended community that is uh, usually 
typically trailing after the uh, typical root target, the uh, uh, MacVerf, and so on. So here we are on the Arcus VTAP, and you can see this is the source Mac, uh, 00, 00 and all Ds. As you can see, it's currently behind the Juniper VTAP 117, and the sequence number is 0. We'll now initiate a Mac move. As you can see from our perspective, it's BGP learned. And once the Mac moves, we should see the sequence number increment. So now it's moved behind the Metaswitch VTAP. You can see it's still BGP derived from the Arcus uh, VTAP standpoint, and it has a sequence number of one. So this is, at this point, the uh, Metaswitch VTAP uh, incremented that sequence number and advertised it out to the rest of the VTAPs. And once we uh, move that Mac one more time, we should have updated. Give it a second. There we go. And currently we are behind the uh, Arista VTAP.13. It has incremented the sequence number by one. From Again, from an Arca standpoint, it is still a remote uh, Mac. But we're tracking the sequence number as this has moved now one, two, three hops. We've done another move. So let's see this. I'll give it a second. And as you can see, See, it has not, there we go, sequence number has gone to three. All right, so it is now local, in fact, so we actually got the, the, uh, the traffic that time. We're doing it from a local interface, and we are advertising it out to the rest of the VTAPs, and they would see a sequence number of three. And I believe we are going to do one more move, at which point the sequence number should be four. Okay, there we go. And now we're back behind the Juniper VTIP with a sequence number of four, and again, we see it as a BGP-derived um, Mac route. And that is an example of moving a Mac around a number of VTIPs and incrementing the sequence number. So thank you very much, gentlemen, for presenting this live demo. Uh, thank you very much for your commitment uh, throughout the hot staging. And thanks to the audience for listening today. Please stay tuned for more demonstrations and results from the hot staging to come.